This lesson I'm going to go over colors of light to go with our Stickman physics page uh, on color with the electromagnetic waves unit. First of all, a prism is a piece of glass or something that's going to be sitting in air. And what happens is when, when light goes through air, it's going pretty fast. And then it gets into glass and it slows down. That slowing down causes a little bending. And another bending as it leaves going from the glass back into the air and this little bit of bending causes light to, to refract which is well this this the speed change causes light to refract and each of these colors will refract slightly different and when that happens with this prism shape is you have a separation of colors like red orange yellow green cyan and blue and violet the colors of the rainbow you'll see from white light um, now with the light with the, the visible light spectrum of colors uh, you may have heard the mnemonic Roy G Biv very catchy it's in my head um, well they changed this they no longer use that mnemonic they go they went ahead and said you know what let's not call indigo a color anymore let's go ahead and say cyan is a color instead and so now it's Roy G Sibiv not as catchy but still effective if you can remember it and this goes from largest to shortest wavelength so you get red orange next yellow green cyan blue violet and in that process, in that direction, it goes from largest wavelength to lowest, which has the lowest frequency, because those are always inverse of each other. And frequency goes with energy, so it also has the least energy. So along with this light spectrum and this drawing, red light has the largest wavelength, lowest frequency, and least energy. Violet light has the smallest wavelength, highest frequency, most energy, and everything in between. You just kind of go with what you see biv and what you see, the little wave here. I'll show you how to use it in a second. And here it comes. Um, does orange light or red light have a higher frequency? And so what I would do for a question like this is I would go ahead and just draw a wave getting um, shorter and shorter wavelength or higher and higher frequency. The I'll look at it. And from there, I would go ahead and write down Roy G. S -B -V. Uh, if you remember Roy G. Biv, just write that out and then try to cross out indigo and put that cyan between green and, and blue. Um, and then just look at it, analyze it. Does orange right here? Or does red light have a higher frequency? Well, higher frequency goes with the shorter wavelength. So to the further to the right is going to have the higher frequency. In this case, it's going to be orange. Um, does violet or green light have a larger wavelength? So same thing, shorter, shorter, shorter. Roy, G, sub. Um, and now you look at it, violet or green light, larger wavelength. Larger wavelength is gonna be this direction. Right here is a bigger wavelength. So green is gonna be our answer. And here, does violet or red light have more energy? So energy goes with frequency. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing again. Roy G sub -v. And we look at it and we have violet right here and we have red light right here and the frequency is much higher over on this side. And so violet is gonna have the higher energy and greater frequency. Three primary colors of light are red, green, and blue, or red, blue, and green. Now some art classes call them other things. You're probably talking about pigment. When I'm talking about color, I'm talking about light. And light is something that would be projected from if you had a flashlight that had like a red filter, a red, red screen on front of it. You turn on that flashlight and you'd see red. That's color red. Uh, primary colors of light, when you're mixing these, you do need to know what they become. Red and blue become magenta. Red and green become yellow. Green and blue become cyan. So you take a look, green goes over red, it becomes yellow. And then if you mix the three, you end up getting white light. Over here, you get blue. Over red becomes magenta. And over here, there's a cyan color if you have blue and green mixing together. So all the colors together form white light. This is a color wheel diagram. Um, which is useful in answering questions as well. I'll, I'll show you examples of how I would use it to answer questions a little bit later. But on the outside, you see the primary colors, red, green, blue. These are the primary colors of light. But when you mix them, if you take red and you mix it with green, you get yellow. Red, you mix it with blue, you get magenta. Green, you mix it with blue and you get cyan. And then if you mix them all together, you get that thing in the middle, white light. So when drawing the color wheel diagram, I would draw three circles, have them crossing each other, and then just, it doesn't matter where you put the red, blue, and green, just put red, blue, and green anywhere, and then, and then start thinking about what do I get when I mix red and blue? 
Okay, well, that's going to be magenta. What do I get when I mix blue and green? Well, that's going to be cyan. What do I get when I mix red and red and green? Doesn't seem right to me, but you get yellow. And then in the middle, everything mixed together is going to be white light. And so that's how you draw that. And this is this can be used to answer some questions, as we'll do in a few few minutes. Complementary color lights are the colors that can be mixed with the red, green, and blue primary to make a um, a, a white light. And what you need to know here is that the complementary colors of light are yellow, or sorry, the secondary colors of light are yellow, magenta, and cyan. So these secondary colors in the middle, that's what you can mix when you mix primary colors, what be, what come what becomes from there. So you get red and green, and red and green makes a secondary yellow, red and blue makes a secondary magenta, green and blue makes its secondary cyan. Well the thing about cyan is cyan is really green and blue together. Magenta is really red and blue together. So if I take green and I mix it with something like magenta straight across, what I'm really mixing is green, red, and blue. And therefore, I get white light. So just look straight across the color wheel, and that will tell you what the complementary color is, which secondary mixes with the primary to get white light. That's what's going on, and that's what this animation is showing you. Okay, and so uh, what happens? Uh, okay, what happens if you mix primary color with a non-complementary secondary color? What happens when you mix red with a, let's say, yellow? What's happening is yellow is just green and red. So red, yellow is a mixture of green and red. And so you have double red, you still have red, and you still have green. So you still get yellow. Nothing special there. If I mix, let's say, um, magenta and blue, I would end up getting you know, magenta, which is blue, red, and then another blue. So it's just still blue and red. It would still be magenta. OK, what are the primary colors of light? These are going to be the red, red, not reg, red green and blue for the secondary color light these are going to be the yellow magenta and cyan so these are primary um, for this question I'm looking at secondary so that's going to be the things in the middle so if you have this color wheel it'll help you answer lots of questions what do we get when we mix red and green light? Okay, red and green light. Well, what's in between those? We're going to get yellow. What do you get when you mix red and blue light? Red and blue. What's in between those? We're going to get magenta. Magenta is that purplish color from the animations before. What do you get when you mix yellow and blue light? Well, okay, here's a, here's a yellow and blue light. Okay, it's something else, something across. Well, yellow is just red and green, so it's going to get you white light because you're mixing blue with, with green and red. So just kind of look at what it ma makes up yellow. What do you get when you mix yellow and green light? Yellow and green light. Okay, well, yellow is just red and green, and then you have more green, so it's still going to give you yellow. What's a complementary color? It's just going to be what mixes with the three primary to give you white light. So if I'm going to go from blue to white light, I need to mix the yellow. So it's going to be what get the, the secondary color color that mixes with the primary to give you white. This color light. So if you can't read my writing, just go to my Stick Man Physics page, and you can see a uh, much clearer. Um, you know, you can click on the uh, see solution or see answer, and it'll open up, and you'll see a much easier thing to read than this right here. Okay, what's complementary color of red? So what goes with red to give you this? Well, I need to go ahead here and grab cyan, and cyan and red together will give you white light. Okay, and then just lastly, um, get a little practice. There's a FET interactive little download you can do. Um, if you're in my class, you get a little extra credit um, on the digital learning test. If this is a regular class, you probably won't get that option. Um, but during the digital learning days, I'll give you a little extra credit to get that completed. It'll go towards your test. And use the picture on my Stickman Physics page um, so the actual FET interactive is at the very bottom of my Stickman Physics page. And if you use the interactive, um, uh, the picture right here, 
uh, it will tell you just the direction. So you can see, like, if I ask you to include reflections, you can click on this thing right here. If I ask you to um, have a normal line, which you want, so you can see, you know, how things are bending. Um, you can add as many shapes as you want to the animation. It's kind of fun. You kind of get you know, into it. Um, and then I give you a little challenge in that in that mini lab as well. But if you get that done and you submit it into my Dropbox, that will be uh, extra credit for the digital learning days and might be regular credit for a regular class. Have a good one. Thank you.